yeah hello guys welcome to nobuti fashion channel this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and the simplest method on how to draft cut and uh, sew anything on the mess dress so if this is the first time you are checking out this channel you are most welcome to nobu family please let me hit the subscribe button for you to be part of the nobu family and to receive a uh, amazing video like this whenever i drop it so now let's uh, move on the this is the measurement we are using the length is a 29 the shoulder and the sleeve is measured together which is a 14 the chest is a 36 why the round sleeve is a is a 14 so now you have to lay the material like this turn it to the back turn your material to the back and lay it in two layer lay it in two layer please if you are yet to check out the previous video that i drop on how to cut another type of a kimono which is a sleeveless but this one is a with a sleeve you can check the video in the description box uh, below or check the video out or the one the video on how to how to sew it properly you can as well check that out in the description box below as well so make sure you lay the material like this make sure it's laid like this so now what we use to get the bodies is a is the sleeve is the sleeve so you have to measure 14 here now so just lay it and make sure measure 14 you have to put a folding allowance as well which is for the sleeve m for the sleeve m so measure it now lay it like this that will be in four now the layer will be in four now so just measure it this is a 14 now this is a 14 this is a 14 so now but you can see that i don't have excess material at the hemline again so now what i will do now is to use another material to to turn it inside whenever i want to join it so it's to use another material to turn it inside that's the M line. So now let me cut the upper part and make it a uh, straight. That's the shoulder line now. To make it a uh, straight. So if you have excess material to play around with, there's no need for you to be to be joining the shoulder line. You can just double fold it without joining the shoulder line. But this will cost a lot of material. So that, that means you'll be needing more than uh, one year that I'm using here now. So that means you will be needing more like a two yards for this. So now, but for you to minimize your material, you can just join the upper part like this. So now let me leave the seam allowance for the upper part here now. Because this one doesn't have a folding at the doesn't have a backdrop at the shoulder line. So just measure one inch. Measure one inch here as well. And roll it straight. So this for the shoulder line now. That's the joining at the shoulder line now. Then there's no need for slanting on this one. We are not slanting this one. The shoulder will be straight. So if you see the video that I dropped before, there's a slanting on that one, on that kimono. So but this one is without a slanting. So now apply your length. The length we are using here is a 29. So just measure 29 here at the front as well. Measure 29 and then rule it straight. And rule it straight. Rule it straight. Then the, the, the that line now we have a band. So measure two inches. Again, we have to put a band at the at the M line. So now just rule it straight. and cut it out so this is for the band just cut it out like that straight yep that's it so now the next thing to do is to cut the side again so that it will be for both front 
and the back now separately you have to separate both front and the back so now what's next is to shape the to shape the bodies apply this round sleeve the round sleeve is a 14 so this is a 14 now that's a 7 divided by 2 then apply seam allowance which is a 1 inch I'm putting a 1 inch for seam allowance so that's a sleeve M now that's the round sleeve now then you have to apply the bodies here so the body of this shirt is kimono is a 36 so 36 divided by 4 now to give us a 9 so now you have to measure 9 here measure 9 inches plus 1 inch which is for the same allowance just drop your hand down a bit to get the chest from the sleeve line so now measure 9 inches there as well plus same allowance making 10 so just roll it straight just roll it straight just roll it straight then what's next now is just to shape the the sleeve just cuff it around there just apply this shape and that is all apply this shape then you have to shape the bodies as well make it slant a bit just slant it like this bring your hand outside like half inch and inside half inch as well at the waistline but at the ape line bring it outside as a like half inch then just shape it the way i did it then cut it round cut it round you can see that it's very simple and easy so just follow the basic uh, principle and you arrive at the best results so now the next thing to do now is to
cut it out straight. Just cut it around here. And that is it. Please, if you enjoyed this video, let me hit the like button, please, and drop your comment. So please, I will be dropping the how to cut, how to couple it in my subsequent uh, video. So just stay connected with the uh, with the channel to see how the clothes will be coupled together. It's very easy and simple. So now the V-neck as well. I'll be showing you how the simplest method on how to how to achieve that. So now please, if you enjoy any part of the training, let me hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So now the next thing to do is to cut the band, the band for the damp part of the of the kimono of the danshiki. So now just fold the material like this, and the wideness will be around the 3.5 or 3. So whichever you you feel like to be around 3.5 or 3 so here I'm using a 3.5 for this band 3.5 for this band so just cut it straight make sure it's the band will cover the whole the whole bodies so make sure the band this the band size you are cutting will cover the whole the bodies of the of the danshiki and that is all on how to cut a kimono or dashiki with a with a sleeve so the one i dropped in my previous video is a sleeveless but this one is a is a with sleeve so thank you for watching and stay blessed till i bring you another amazing video like this thank you bye